Shaw grabs rebound number nine on the night. She's been all over the glass. Here's Gradwell. The three is up and good. Layup is up and good. 38-34. Battle stops. Same spot she made the last shot. Yes. Same result. About 15 feet in. Amaya Battle can knock it down. She's done that twice today. And the lead's back to two for Lehigh. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Higher off the inbound to Gradwell. They'll give it right back to Mallory. Her three is on the way. And it rattles in. Mallory higher with her first points of the... Barovich off a screen to Gradwell. Now to Braun. Left corner three is on the way. Good. Gophers oh. needed it. it. Braun finds that left corner in the zone. Higher swings it to Caden. Trying to get a post up look for Rose Michaud. Kicks over to Gradwell. Open three. She's got it. And the Gophers take a quick 9 0 lead. I mean, it's really come from just simple missed layups. The Gophers have been able to hit a couple of. Kicks to the corner. Open three. And can't get that one to fall. But Ober gets the offensive rebound, fights for it, gets it to Gradwell. The layup is good, and the Gophers are up in double digits here quick in the first quarter. Bring it up, Blue Hose, driving hard, loses the handle, and the Gophers get the steal. Higher with the deep ball from battle. Higher with the nice finish on the fast break, and the Gophers continue to mount this lead. Kicks it to Oberg. Battle with drives with the left hand, pulls up for jump shot, and it's just uh, in and out. Nice rebound from Gladwell again, and she puts it back. Skip pass to Gladwell, who came off the bench for the first time this season today. Five seconds left, it is Gladwell, a deep three in the corner, and good. She was determined on that box out. Michelle had a huge and one late against Wake Forest. Her numbers double from last year. Gladwell knocking down the three from the corner. We're seeing this trade off, and we're seeing Chesky run a little bit of this point, which we talked about earlier, putting McKenna Marisa off the ball a little bit more. Allie Brigham turns it over. She just came into the game. An incredible sequence as Penn State picks it off once more. It's one on one. Marisa goes underneath and another block by Grad. At that point, you just have to make the quick move, and, and if you don't get it to go, try to get the rebound. Higher quickly collapsed upon. That opens up Gradwell off the dribble, and she's making an impact off the bench after starting. They're pressing the Gophers, and just like that. Barovic, too much pressure, ball. turned it over, and Walker gets a shot blocked by Gradwell. Huge block by Great Gradwell. defense there played by Gophers Gradwell. Taking another look here. The turnover there from Barovic, and Amazing block there. Rebounded by Braun, then by Cambridge, eventually picked up by Hire. Finds Braun again, coming with a lot of speed, finds Gradwell in the paint, who puts the layup, and that one's up and good. Gradwell looking for a shot. Gr Gradwell gets it back. Hire from the three point line. Off a curl, it is Battle who stops on a dime and drops in it. I like Battle's game. But at least joining her teammates back in the building as Gradwell puts up a three and drains it. Back over ball, Braun coming up the court. Braun finds a wide open Gradwell in the corner who puts up the three and it is good. Great shot there from Gradwell. We missed in the last, you know, few games. We haven't seen a, a huge bunch of threes in the beginning. They've been playing a little bit of the inside. Barovic looking around. And Gradwell finds the space. Gradwell for three. Really looking to show you can't get down, you can't get rattled too early. Wide open higher in the corner for three. Fabulous shot by Higher. Chicago State point, I mean, that was as perfect as a comeback to, you know, the Minnesota three as you could have got. Absolutely. Minnesota already with three three pointers. And great attack there from Mishaw. She lays that one in. Only five seconds here left in the first quarter. Myers looking to get one last shot blocked by Gradwell and put up again by Talvo, and that's it here for the first quarter. Battle finds Gradwell. Gradwell dumps it in for Oberg. Oberg lays it in, finishes it off for the Gophers. Good movement there. Sonano, here's Barovic. Finds Gradwell wide open. She uses her space and knocks down the three. 
Great shot there by Gradwell, her third three-pointer of the night. Here's Newell. Newell finds, oh, fabulous. Deflected there from Gradwell. Chicago State turned it over. Oh, here's Caton cutting in and one. Newell faces Baravich. And there was Newell really trying to put up the shot inside, but too many Gophers blocking her. We gotta, we gotta work on not getting these fouls, letting the Gophers get these easy points since they are such a high percentage free throw team. Great! She finishes that one with her left hand and cuts the lead back to seven. Gradwell up top, she'll fire from long range, and she'll hit. Extends the lead to double digits as Isabel Gradwell knocks down her first three of the night. Sonano driving to her left, gets it back outside to Gradwell. Gradwell driving, tough finish, and she makes it go down. She'll get it back to higher. Gradwell with it now. Gradwell to her right, driving again, and she'll get that one to fall. Another tough drive. Mara Braun now with it, breaks the press, gets it over to Misha, she'll look to face up, finds Gradwell, and it's over to higher in the corner. She'll fire and knock down a three. Gophers needed that one as they take up and under is no good from McGlone. Rebounded by the Gophers, battle pushing, finds Gradwell, she'll go all the way and finish the left-handed layup. Eight to shoot, they kick it out. The three-pointer from Gradwell is good. That kind of performance up, this is going to be a very dangerous team, but also putting up 78 points against the Maryland Terrapins is a hard feat. Make that 80 most likely? Yes, make it 80. Mikulashikova's got it, and it's over to Taylor Theory. Go for steal again. Gradwell with it this time. Over to higher. Battle, drive and kick. Here's Braun. Swish. Taken away by Gradwell. Now Rutgers is at a point where they're finally starting to click. Misha faces up, drains the free throw line jumper. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Inside the higher. Over shoe pill. Oh, air ball. Oh my gosh, Misha back out. Oh! Isabel Gradwell. Awful there underneath the hoop, it looked like after the whistle. Refs had to get in the way. We'll see there, great play by Misha, passing it out to Gradwell. Awesome save there by Misha, and Gradwell was ready to shoot. Gradwell, great pass down low to Misha, and she finishes. Great pass, higher, going inside on Camden, and finishes through contact. Here's Braun, a nice drive to the basket, high off the glass, and it falls down. Her 20th point tonight. Brown having a great game. Misha, nice finish right there. Berger into the corner for Scalia. Oh, great play by Gradwell coming in with the double team. Baravich, no look to hire. Let me have some of that. Does she have eyes in the back of her head? Again, underrated from three. They can be streaky. Brian trying to make another drive, but goes over the rim. Yeah, that's not her shot. She should have posted up inside there on Oberg. Now Gradwell from three. Minnesota's on fire from three right now. To that Thursday matchup in Bloomington between Iowa and Indiana. See who will control the Big Ten. Gradwell with a nice move, lays it in off the glass. What else can they do? Well, real quick, all of a sudden, three on Bostic, too. Foul trouble hadn't been an issue for Illinois until now as Bostic with three, and they're trying to go back into Misha, and Bostic has to lay off, but sat well with the Illinois faithful. Now, who does Minnesota turn to here? Do they keep going into Misha? They're trying to set her up. A nice step through for Misha. Cuts the Illini lead to two. No doubt about it. Just under four minutes of play left. And a nice, nice finish to Isabel Gradwell. They're not going to get 100 points. I don't even need to say what they're going to. I already jinxed it. Battle. Too strong. Gradwell for three from the right wing. 
Oh. oh, did she call bank? I don't think she did. Ronnie Porter with it now, getting inside on Bravich. She'll swat it away. That'll go off the knee and staved by Gradwell. Nice play there from the gopher forward. Make their shots very difficult. As Hobby misses the layup, Minnesota's gonna have a chance here with a three-point attempt. Mara Braun. Katie B gets the rebound, almost loses it, but regains the composure. The Gophers, 14 points in the second quarter, already matched their first quarter total. A great interior move right there. So far in the th first three minutes of the third quarter, three already. Katie B drives, passes it back out. Gradwell, Gradwell nails the three of her own. Minnesota responds. Now you could, uh, as Minnesota, you can get the shot clock down to a nice low, uh, or you could attack quick like that, I was trying to say. Team high, 28 points. Looks to take the final shot. Drives, passes it. Gradwell nails it, nails the three. Big shot for Gradwell, look at the trust. As we take a look here at Gradwell's final shot once again beyond the arc, nothing but meant. It's absolutely perfect. You can see how much Hybee was sagging off. Cross midcourt, and they do. Gradwell will try to take it herself, and she'll get the and one opportunity. Foul called on the day, Musayo. Scoring lead for Northwestern, get her team back in single digits. She could cut it to nine. Ron trying to make something happen, feeds Barovic from deep out, but rebounded for Sonano, and she's got it. And that's what makes these Golden Gophers so dangerous, Perry. Braun will try for three, can't, and her scoring troubles continuing a bit. Minnesota with a second chance opportunity, 14 on the clock. Sonano starting to heat up. Minnesota trying to make anything happen in the final minute. Gradwell to Braun. Braun will try for a triple, and she's got it. Again, Mara Braun. Gradwell. Rifles it down low to Mishaw, who had position. Good shot fake. Nice bucket off the window for Rose Mishaw. Five on the shot clock for Minnesota. Caton will take a deep three. Cans it. My Cole Caton. Her first points of the game. Maya Battle in transition. Now that's Gradwell. Stops on the baseline. Back to Battle. She's open for a mid range. That's good. Battle's got a really high release point on her jump shot. She gets that way above her head. Five on the clock as Mishaw comes to screen. Hard hedge for Parks. Three on the clock. Gradwell has to take a deep one. Oh, Isabel Gradwell. How about that one from almost 40 feet? Got three points, and that's how much her team is down by at the break. 33-30 as we've hit the halftime here at East Lansing. Stick around for more women's basketball coming up. Barovic, that's a deep three on the wing. Rattles it home, Katie Barovic. Hammond up for Braun. Braun quiet in this game, just five points so far. Gradwell will step into a rhythm three. Nothing but net. Quick 30-second 6-0 run. Gradwell cans it. Gophers up one at the media break. Trying to get to a, a final four right now. Gradwell the three. That's two in a row for Isabel Gradwell. The 357 mark in that third quarter. It's been all Michigan State pretty much since then. We get back to a six point lead. Mishaw trying to change it. She finally scores her first bucket since the first half, up to 15 points for Rose Mishaw. Green for Barks in the corner. Aralt, shot fake. Now she'll drive. Lost it. Gradwell gets on the floor to get it. Aralt drives on Gradwell, initiates the contact, but missed the shot. That's good defense by Isabel Gradwell. And here's battle again. Got to go. Battle driving now. Kicks in the corner to Gradwell. Gradwell cans the three. A big one that Minnesota needed. No, it's the afternoon, Connor. It's the afternoon. So the afternoon is still young. Oh, Gradwell, no hesitation. How about that? Nice little inbound play. Gradwell splashes in the three. Alicia Petrie up top. Madison Leiden gives it back over to Petrie. Uses the Wolman screen. Go for defense. Takes the ball away again. Layden with the slip screen. Gets away from higher. Back out to Petrie. They're going to have to put up a shot. What in the world was that? Scramble down low, and that's going to do it for the corner. Outside, here's Gradwell. Nice. She had a lot of space down low for an easy lay-in. 
You know, it's, it, I can imagine the players for the Gophers are not feeling overly great that they lost such a big lead against the Boilermakers. Gradwell outside, pass from Caton, and it's good! Gradwell from three, she can get hot quick. So Purdue up three, we still got a barn burner on our hands. Gradwell, that's a season high! 13 points for Isabel Gradwell, a new season high with that three. And not just creating turnovers, but slowing down Minnesota, taking seven seconds off the shot clock, so now they kind of have to rush through offense. Gradwell with the deep shot. Minnesota had to bring the ball all the way up the court, which they do. Down by five. Gradwell is open. The three is good. Yeah. That's when they played well against Paint. Penn State, great hesitation by battle. She forces two blue jerseys coming straight her way, and that leads to it.